fishing it on, nothing special, a Bluger President. There's a fish while I was showing you. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. It's uh, kind of a brisk morning here in May in Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, it's a little bit of clouds here. Um, it's like I said, it's a little brisk. I think it actually got down to the 40s overnight. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm back at Bragg, my original lake. Uh, my last few trips have been uh, pretty quiet in terms of uh, catching catching bass, so I thought I'd come back to the original lake. And uh, this lake has a lot of smaller fish in it, but generally we, uh, you know, we we or generally we're able to put numbers in the boat. So I'm not going to be here long, maybe two three hours this morning, and uh, just see how many fish I can catch. This time of year, those of you who follow the channel and even those that don't, <clears throat> I'll tell you, this time of year, this tube right here, the mustard tube or mustard sally, whatever you want to call it, it, uh, it kicks butt all along those weeds, all along the weed line, in between the weed line and the bank. I'll probably hit all that um, and see how many I can get. Um, and then I'll probably switch over to either the wacky sanko excuse me or the fat baby finesse i forget it looks like honey candies on there and then some zoom fluke so i came with the basics today just like i said i haven't caught many fish lately uh so i thought i'd come back to brag and as the truck goes by and see if i could put some numbers in the boat um so here we go. Everything's ready to go. I'll throw this thing in the water and see if we can catch some bass. Fishingwithvance.com. All right, nice, nice quiet launch. Just kind of shoved off barely, foot off the bank. This, uh, this water's pretty clear. It's not as clear as that. Ah, it's pretty, it's pretty darn clear. Look at that. Look at that. Fish are attacking this. As soon as I mean, right here under the boat. Anything? Look at this. No wonder. Yeah, they're, they're ready to go. These are little bass under there that bass are bluegill, so they they're into the mustard tube. Or anything really, I guess. I don't know. So let's see. So what I'm gonna do is like I said, I'm gonna throw as close to that weed line right along there and the bank as possible. You don't want to throw it in the weeds just because you know this this tube has an exposed hook so if you throw it too close to the weeds you end up bringing back you know a lot of weeds um so accurate casting is for this application is uh pretty critical so let's see what we got here You know, that tube is gonna hit the water and then spiral down. I use a real light jig head. I wanna say like 16th. And so it just, it falls real slow. Gives fish a chance to come after it. But then just a slight little pop and it will come back up and then spiral down again. Oftentimes, you know the <clears throat> the fish are going to be caught, you know, on the initial hit, uh, like most things when you're throwing to structure like weeds or laydowns or whatever. <clears throat> so it's funny how at this lake, this color, mustard or yellow or whatever, it's good at this time of year, like May. It's just it's the only time of the year that this color really works. Clear water and and um, spring. Once we turn over to June and July, for whatever reason, mustard stops working. Something hit that, buddy. He was a little guy. 
um, mustard start stops working as effectively and then you have to switch over to your blues blue tube I use a lot you know the green the original green that you use for smallmouth or um, what's known as a bleeding tube it's green and has a red skirt there's, there's a head yeah, get in here there we go there we go so like I said this this lake does not hold a lot of huge fish I think over the years it's gotten a lot of fishing pressure and I've had a lot of people keeping too many bass to be honest with you especially the big boys that uh, you know, procreate so I think that's hurt the lake a little bit but it'll come back that's a typical bass it's he doesn't even make the quarter pounder with cheese category but he was fun he hits mustard tube made my point <clears throat> so but it's always fun to get a bass in the boat within your first five casts every once in a while you get a nice one on this too I don't know if you guys can see that probably not but let me show you if I'll look down see how this thing if you pop it and it's gonna spiral it spirals down uh, it looks like a dying fish it's good stuff those of you guys that don't throw tubes and I know I don't throw a lot of different lures I don't throw a jig that much I should because this would be very similar <clears throat> Uh, throwing a jig but um now if you're not throwing a tube for bat largemouth you're kind of missing out i think um all right keep going see if I can't hook another one uh, let's, i'll keep the camera running if i throw it in front of that bush that tree bush whatever there's a little bit of a drop off there and sometimes the bass are up there right he was up there didn't get a good hook set on him but and he's a little bigger than the first guy so I'll take it okay but bigger than the first guy he's probably a quarter pounder no cheese see you buddy take it two bass in the boat all right let's see what happens fish down that corner down there I don't know if you guys can see that I'm trying to keep my head still um, again keep going back and forth between the hat cam and the the chest cam I I realize the chest cam has way less movement you know when I'm moving and excited you know whatever but I just uh, no matter how high up I try to wear it I'm sorry I'm moving around now but how high up I try to wear that thing on my chest, it still ends up being, you know, just video in my hands. And like when I see that footage, it's like, man, it's, I know it's more stable, but it, it just is terrible footage. And I guess I've been fishing too long to change where I hold my hands. Like I can't hold my hands real low, I can't hold them real high. You know, I think there's a fish on here. I'm not sure. No, it was just weeds. Sometimes the weeds feel like they're pulling back. It's pretty wild. Just because I think when you pull them, then when you let go, then it feels like it's pulling back. But That's a good cast, right to that edge of that weed line. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll set the camera off. You haven't used a tube. Well, I threw, I threw over there, close to that railing. I think I got a little guy here, but... He's uh, pulling the <laughs> half the lake with him. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on up. <laughs> there you are. Under there were all the weeds.
One thing about these tubes, they last pretty long. I mean, if you get a big boy and he rips it up, no, but they last pretty long. So, they're good bait to fish for a little while. Caught that guy right there at the base of that railing. Let's see if his brother's over there. Somebody is. His brother was over there. Nice. A little bigger guy, too. Hmm. So far, it's the biggest, bigger fish of the day. Love it. He was over there. That one's uh, he's skinny, but he's uh, he's probably a quarter pounder with cheese. He was fun. All right, thanks, buddy. All right, I think that's four on the mustard tube already, and it's only seven twenty-five. I think I got on the water at seven, so twenty-five minutes. Already four, so good stuff. All right, I'm gonna fish right up this canal. Weed line there, rock line there, the mustard tube. Let's see if we can get some. Both sides work very well. That rock line side. Good. Good, bath. Good bath for this place. There it is. One of my better ones of the day is quarter pounder with cheese. He's on that rock line. Mustard tube. As predicted, springtime. Clear water. <coughs> never fails me. It's the one bait that has never not worked at this time of year at this lake. Never once. There's another fish. It's crazy. Definitely, definitely must add Sally time. So that's two pitches to that rocks and weeds, two fish. Let's try one on this side. This uh, bass number eight. All on the, well, I caught that one on the, so I guess that's bass number nine, but I caught eight of the nine have been on the, uh, this tube, this mustard tube. The same one, too. I haven't changed it. on the right side. Uh, it's, it's tough to it's tough to skip this uh, this this time of year with these at this lake with these fish with um, I'm sorry with this tube. That's 10 bass and granted none of these guys are anything right home about but like I said I don't care I'm just having fun. It's 10 bass 
all on the same tube. I think one no, the tube rest all on a mustard tube. With this technique, that's for sure. Fishing it on nothing special with Bluger President. There's a fish while I was showing you. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I was showing you my. Oh, this is probably my biggest fish of the day. I was goofing around. Boy, he he, uh, he got after that tube. Sure did, buddy. Fresh tube on, and there's a bass.
and there is fish number 30. I gotta do a time check because I think uh, I want to say that's number 30, a little guy. Uh, let's do a time check. It is 9.14. So in two hours, I was on the water by seven. So in two hours and 15 minutes, we'll just say. Two hours and 15 minutes, 30 fish. It was pretty fun. Pretty darn fun. Crazy stuff, man. I'm telling you, when they're on this mustard tube, they are on it. They are on it. And it's this time of year, spring, clear water, and this bait just cannot be beat at this lake. It just can't. And uh, I've tried it at other lakes in the spring, and it's had some success, but not like here. So definitely give it a shot at your lake. So. I'm going to wrap up today's video right here because it's 30 fish in 2 hours and 15 minutes, which is incredible. Granted, no fish that were monsters, but you know what? They all bent the rod and uh, tugged on my line on the way back to the boat. So I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. It's mustard tube season. It was a heck of a day. I'll be heading for the dock here in a second. And... Uh, That'll be it. But uh, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. Like I said, lots of lots of fishing videos now coming out, and uh, be doing all kind of fishing. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, I really would like to get my subscriber numbers up. Um, my subscribers come very slow, dribs and drabs. But anyway, subscribe like all that good stuff thanks for joining me today i'll see you next time on fishingwithants.com